Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss very important thing that is how to create a good resume. And if you are in the data engineering domain, I think this video will be must watch for you. So some days before I have posted uh, one article on uh, LinkedIn and asked for referral. So if somebody is looking for job in Walmart, so I am working as a data engineer three uh, in the Walmart. So I have asked. So there was multiple opening in my teams. So I've asked for many people and I also received several resume from multiple candidates. And after going through those resume, I found that there are certain sets of problems that is there in most of the resume. So I thought to create this uh, video, uh, it might help someone who is in the who is searching for new jobs and not able to select in a good companies. So and let me make uh, give you also uh, good statistics. So till now I have referred near to 49 resume and out of those very few are selected. And I found that all those candidates those who are not selected they are actually good with their technical skills but their resumes are not good. And that's why the HR are not moving it forward to the for the next round or uh, for any coming round. So let's discuss what a good resume is. And I will be uh, talking about a good resume uh, of a data engineers. And I, I will be also showing you my resume uh, using which I applied in Walmart and got selected. And we will try to review that uh, resume. We will try to uh, figure out which all points uh, are looked by HR and what all things should be there in a resume, what is bad, uh, what we should not uh, write in resume. So and we will be talking about this, uh, this point. So let me just share my screen and show my resume and then we'll be discussing each point one by one. Okay, just uh, wait for one minute. Basic points, which I feel is very much important while building your resume. Okay. So I have seen multiple resume and the first mistake that I see in any resume is the not mentioning your mobile number or not mentioning your email address. So most of the people try to pass this but sometimes I have found candidates they have they are not mentioning their mobile number and they are missing their email address or either their email address is wrong. So before sending resume to any portal, first check that your mobile number is correct or you have passed your email address. Okay. And let's try to write our points. Okay. So the first point is pass correct email address and mobile number pass alternate numbers to alternate contact numbers okay perfect that's the first point uh, always check it that your email address and mobile number is correct okay then uh, you should start with your resume by your name and you should mention your designation like if you are software developer write it software developer data engineer then write it data engineer and after that don't write any fancy things so i've seen many resume where uh, people are like data engineer then they start writing some fancy things or something like that two or three lines don't write it because we want to create a single page resume max to max one page or one page or half page that's it not more than that so don't write anything which is not needed okay so just write your name write your designation like uh, Ankur Ranjan then data engineer cool then pass your uh, email address mobile number after that you should pass link of your github profile <coughs> sorry linkedin and medium 
so let's suppose you are you are having some github pro pro profile and you have created it then you should pass pass that link uh, let's suppose you have uh, cre uh, created some medium page like uh, once you let me just show it to you this is my medium page right so i have written several articles on medium so i should pass this link okay and uh, let's suppose i am having one github profile then i should pass the link okay and i should pass the link and i and i should uh, mention it so i have interacted with multiple candidates they say that uh, bhaiya i don't have that good uh, github i don't work on open source why should i pass github i should pass my linkedin but you should always pass your github because that that is going to be very much helpful for you because somebody will looking at your resume will understand that yeah at least he this person knows git okay instead of passing your linkedin profile now you should pass your uh, your website if you have created something or your medium page or any other articles that you have published or your github profile and pass your linkedin profile that is also good but try to be more authentic instead of just talking try to show your work okay you can also pass your linkedin profile like this is my linkedin profile then i have passed my linkedin profile cool okay let me just zoom it so that's the second thing so let me let's just write the second point pass the link of your github website or any social profile okay perfect okay let's move to next point okay uh so your heading is correct perfect now the third point so i have seen multiple resume where they mention their experience but that experience is not in the order what does this means let's suppose my last employer was some x company so i should always mention that thing uh, in the starting of the resume it should not be like uh, i am having 5 years of experience then i should start from my first work from my first job you should always start from your recent employer so for me the recent employer was innova solutions okay so and i was working for innova solutions for the change healthcare so i should mention it in very uh, in the very beginning of my uh, what you call it, resume then i should mention uh, any any my past experience okay so that's the things because let's suppose uh, if you have, uh, if i have mentioned vfresh here and innova solutions uh, after that then um, when the hr will be looking through this uh, resume or any person when he interviewer is looking through that resume he will not so see your recent works right and people will always judge you on the recent work right so it, it it will be always better if you pass the experience in a order uh, that should not be some zigzag okay so you should uh, let the third point is pass your job experience experience in order okay that's the third point perfect now see whenever you are applying for any good company na then that company will always uh, use some automated software what that automated software will do so let's suppose uh, you have uh, you are you are sending one resume to me and i am trying to refer you so i will take this resume and i will try to upload in the some portal so portal will try to detect uh, email address and uh, your mobile number or something like that right and so and it also detect keywords from that particular resume and let's suppose if you are not if there is no uh, automated software also na if somebody is looking then you should mention your strong point as a keyboard uh, a keyword right sorry so what does this this means so let's suppose i am very good at apache spark i feel that i am good at apache spark 
सो द पाची स्पार्क आई शुड मैंशन इट सेवरल टाइम इन माई रिज्यू में सो इट बिकम्स आई कैचिंग आई कैचिंग फॉर द रिज्यू में एंड दे विल गिट दिस फीलिंग डैट या दिस पर्सन इज गुड एट अपाची स्पार्क सो दैट्स द वे ओके तो दैट्स द वे ऑफ राइटिंग अबाउट मैंशनिंग सम स्किल्स लेट यू विल सर्च दैट लेट्स सर्च फॉर दिस स्पार्क यू विल फाइंड दैट देर विल बी मल्टीपल ऑकरेंस राइट सो आई हैव मैंशन सेवन टाइम्स राइट इन माई इन माई रिज्यू में यू विल सी दैट आई हैव मैंशन सेवन सेवन टाइम्स सो दैट्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट राइट सो आई वॉन्टेड टू कन्वे दैट आई एम ए डेटा इंजीनियर हु इज वेरी गुड एट अ पाचे स्पार्क सो आई शुड मैंसन दिस एज अ की वर्ड राइट एंड ट्राई टू बोल्ड समथिंग ट्राई लेट सपोज यू आर यू आर गुड विथ सम सम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और गुड विथ सम 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 टूल्स सो यू मैंसन इट एज अ बोल्ड ओके सो दैट द थिंग सो वी शुड मैंसन यूर एक्सपीरियंस इन ऑर्डर एंड ट्राई टू स्पेसिफाई द की वर्ड ओके स्पेसिफाई द की वर्ड मल्टीपल टाइम इन द रिज्यूम में परफेक्ट ओके परफेक्ट and and you should be very much straight forward when you are writing you should not write some long paragraph right uh, let's suppose uh, in in my previous work i was working on something i was working on some product name the name was risk view medicare so and i have mentioned all the technology that i have used so i have used apache spark apache druid aws services like emr athena glue s3 sns and sqs notifications so these all services i have used right so i should mention it in my data uh, in my refresh work i i have used some skills i have used some framework then i will mention it okay so let's go to the project part now after experience i should mention my project so which all project i have done and uh, inside that project if i have done something very much something very good okay so like take the example of change healthcare so when i joined the cherish view teams there was one pipeline uh we used to call that core data refresh pipeline that was taking 1 hour 15 minute of times and then uh, after that after i optimized the code i worked for it i think more than one month i think so and i reduced it to uh, 32 minutes on average so that was the achievement for me right so uh, and uh, company has also applauded uh, um, for that work so i should mention that thing so let's suppose you are working in some jobs there will be always something there you will be creating some reusable components or you will you will be optimizing something or you will be writing some code which can be used by uh, multiple persons so always try to mention those lines that that is the strong point of you right okay so the, this is the so what's the next point the next point is that always in your resume what what should you do uh, if you have done something specific if you have done something specific in your project then please mention it it can be optimization or any reusable components okay so let's move to next point okay perfect then inside the project you can mention each and every things that whatever you have done uh, the these all things you can mention then let's move to the skills so whenever you are writing some resume na you should always mention your skills and you should uh, specify it right like in language i know scala python javascript and shell scripting so i will specify right this is these all language i know okay if i know java then I, uh, i will also pass the java but i am not i don't feel that i am too good in java so i have not passed it okay then the big data frameworks 
सो वाट ऑल फ्रेमवर्क्स आई हैव वर्कड ऑन टिल नाउ स्पार्क ई एम आर ग्लू लैमडा स्कूप हाइव एच बी एस पाई स्पार्क अपाचे एयर फ्लो अपाचे ड्रूड राइट दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स नन द डेटा बेसिस लाइक आई हैव यूज माई स्क्वेल पोस्ट ग्रीस एम एस एस स्क्वेल एच बी एस ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्विसेस ई एम आर ए थीना ग्लू एस थ्री एस एन एस लैमडा ओके सो दिज ऑल थिंग्स आई हैव वर्कड ऑन सो इंस्टीड ऑफ पासिंग स्किल्स इन ए वन गो आई हैव ग्रुप्ड इट राइट सो ऑलवेज ग्रुप्ड इट so uh, if somebody will like to know that on which language he has, he or she has worked on so they can directly jump here right they want to know uh, that in on which data uh, big data framework he or she has worked on so they can just jump it here so so what is the next point the next point is group your your skills cool perfect okay then you should pass your academic details like if you have passed from some good college then pass it and if you are having some decent cgpa or uh, cpi whatever you call then mention it so i graduated from indian institute of information technology barodra then i, I am passing it and my cgpa was decent 7.34 is not good or not bad so i passed it perfect then the not the next point the next point is pass your academic details in a very short and concise way perfect i'm using grammarly i know my english is not too good okay then i should pass my contribution let's suppose you have contributed to some open source or you have written some articles on medium or any other uh, web pages then you should mention it like i have conducted five days webinar for uh, bba uh, i mit college so i have mentioned it right so and if there is some uh, personal project that you are proud of you can create that so i have created one uh, fun project uh, while i was at home in the covid time so i have used covid 19 data and i used several uh, big data frameworks like scoops uh, hive and other things so i just mention those things right so uh, that's enough so if you mention uh, these all things that is enough for a resume okay so what is the next things pass your individual individuals contributions contribution okay okay perfect okay this is good i think you are you will able to follow this template and you will able to create a single page resume make it very much concise make it very much uh, clear and try to be very much specific about yourself okay and one more thing never ever send your resume in the doc format always convert into a pdf format and then try to send it to some, to someone so if you are sending in the doc format now it's very it becomes little hard for someone they have to use some tools to open that microsoft uh, word or something like that or any doc format so and they are having very less time right so they might skip that so always uh, save your file in the pdf format and try to make uh, try to make a single page resume and uh, you can use overleap so let me just show it to you so overleap is a site so you can just search search for overleap resume uh, resume templates and it will show several templates to you and you can you can follow any template let's suppose that i liked one template let's go to next page okay for me this template is fine i can just open it open as templates and it is a latex bex so don't worry latex is very easy just like a normal english that you have to pass and you can open it or uh, open that thing okay and let's suppose i have to change the name so i will change the name here i am not doctor i will see in data on onko ranjan perfect if i have to write something then i will write it here let's suppose i have to change the mail address then i will do ranjan onkur perfect and i will just recompile it cool uh it will take some time it will compile it will change it here and i can download here and uh, there is some syntax error uh, not a problem there was there might be some after searching on net uh, you will able to um, 
sorry my internet is down i think okay so you can use overlay and the second thing you can always use google doc in your google doc if you'll see there will be uh, multiple templates uh, just open the doc let me just open mine oh, my internet is gone so in google doc there are multiple templates already present so you can just use that template okay and you can use that template and you can create the one page uh, resume and after that please save it in pdf format i think you will able to make a good resume now and this my template will inspire you to create a good resume and will try to be very much specific about the things i hope uh, this session was useful for you and this uh, not say session this youtube video was useful for you if you find it useful please, please share it with your friends and please like and subscribe uh, my youtube channel uh, thank you for now let's meet in the uh, next video and we will try to talk about some more things and we will try to discuss some more uh, uh, more things so stay tuned goodbye thank you